founding of America, the creation of a new world, the establishment of a free way of life. New vistas in living, in trading, in transportation, all embodied in one great word, progress. West of the Mississippi, of the wilderness, towering mountains, trackless desert, a land unconquerable without that one driving force, progress. But every obstacle, every bridge was to be met. The white man came on, breaking new trails, pushing in on foot, on horseback, by covered wagon trains. And then, finally, the great dream of empire builders come true on rails, progress, on the march. In 1869, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad completed a 17-mile link between Topeka and Carbondale, Kansas, the first major step toward opening to settlement vast new territory, toward creating new industry, new markets, laying the foundation for a future of unsurpassed transport from Chicago south and to the west coast. Indeed, it has been a glorious past, and Santa Fe is proud of its part in that past of its contribution to the building of the West. Then the great word was progress, and still today, progress and Santa Fe remain synonymous, always on the march, never satisfied, ever probing into the unknown, testing, experimenting, ever discarding the old to make way for the new, and dedicated to the proposition that the shipper must have increasingly better economical freight service. That the traveler shall have safer, more comfortable, more economical service for himself and his family. The full range of services to freight shippers can't be covered in one film, but we can touch some typical highlights. As you probably know, we are mighty proud of our refrigeration service and of its staff of experts, many of whom have actually grown up with every phase of refrigeration, developing a transcontinental service of highest efficiency. The ultimate goal of long-haul refrigeration is the delivery of produce in as perfect condition as the day it was harvested. In cooperation with shippers and growers, we study the problems of planting, cultivating, and picking. Never-ending series of tests seek improvements in methods of growing and handling. Other experiments are continually being made, devising new and better ways to box, sack, crate, and load. Anything and everything which could in any way bring about the delivery of produce in a condition of complete freshness. Benefits derived from years of experience in the building and maintenance of refrigerator cars are placed at the disposal of Santa Fe customers. Something new is developed? Strip down the old cars. Leave only the trucks and underframes. On these, erect superstructures of material and design embodying the ultimate in the science that is refrigeration. Carry these advancements over to the trucks and steel wheels. Put them into service only after the most exacting test. Santa Fe cars must have a minimum of bounce in transit. our latest improved steel sheathed refrigerator car. From end to end, from top to bottom, these new all-purpose cars incorporate the results of years of research. Water repellent floors, special insulation, and such innovations as collapsible bulkheads. Many Santa Fe refrigerator cars are equipped with the most recent developments in circulating fans. When loaded cars are in transit, these fans, forcing air up through the ice bunkers, increase the circulation through the load, resulting in lower and equalized temperatures. All these are important factors in the continual search for perfection toward the total elimination of spoilage in transit. Icing facilities are maintained at convenient locations, and we have contracts with private plants to supplement our own facilities. 
We are installing larger compressors for increasing ice production. Retop icing is being used more and more as a means of protecting certain perishables in transit. This is our San Bernardino pre-cooling plant. By blowing cold air into cars, temperatures are lowered even before the cars are spotted for loading. Perishables in transit in winter demand exacting methods of protection against frost. Heater service stations are spotted at necessary points, again relieving the shipper of any concern over the safety of his consignment. When you move your produce with Santa Fe, you have an army of refrigeration experts working for you on your particular shipment, inspecting every car, making certain that those cars are moving in good order. Our field men are in constant touch with division and district offices, which in turn advise general offices of the movements of shipments. In this way, the customer can learn exactly where his shipment or even individual cars are. To come right out and say it, the vigilance of our refrigerator department is not relaxed for a single minute until your produce has reached its destination in the best possible order. That vigilance, which is just another word for service, holds for every consignment handled by our railroad, for every department of the service that is Santa Fe. Now suppose we consider the service we have to offer the shipper of livestock. When a man is shipping a literal fortune in livestock, he not only wants the best, but he intends to get it, and we intend to give it to him. Situated at convenient locations, facilities to feed, water, rest, and otherwise provide day and night service, no matter the size of the shipment, are sources of great pride with Santa Fe. Whatever the requirements may be, nothing is left undone to ensure that every shipper will have his stock delivered in the best condition to realize the maximum the market can afford. We have enlarged and improved our installations for the handling of sheep. From improved double-decker cars, your sheep are periodically run down onto clean, sterilized paved pens and alleyways, built and maintained in keeping with Department of Agriculture standards. Our complete facilities are maintained by experienced sheep men who follow to the latter instructions issued by the shipper. June and July are the great grain months in Santa Fe territory. That means millions of bushels to be handled in all weather-protected boxcars designed especially for grains, flour, and other high-class loadings. As for grain storage, well, here's a fair-sized elevator. With mighty car tippers speeding the job, it is possible to handle in and out up to a half million bushels a day. All through our territory, there are enormous elevators providing storage for millions of bushels of surplus grain. In the field of more technical improvements, one of the great steps toward increasing railroad capacity with safety and efficiency is centralized traffic control. These are familiar scenes, switches being thrown by hand. Trains stop while orders are issued and delivered. Today, on divisions equipped with CTC, this is all taken care of automatically. CTC boards control all train operations along many miles of track, requiring but a single operator, these knobs, lights and levers, control signals and switches along miles of tracks. Colored lights indicate the position of trains on the CTC district and also the position of each siding switch and signal controlled by the operator. Now, by simply turning a lever and pushing a button, the operator, though miles away, can head a train into a siding to clear another train. The advantages of this control system are obvious. It is so timed that neither train is necessarily required to stop as they pass. And this miracle of modern railroading is all controlled by the simple manipulation of a tiny lever from miles away by a single operator at the centralized traffic control board. That's not all. CTC relieves many other time-consuming motions. The issuing of train orders. It conserves manpower and engine power. Permits maximum use of track and switching facilities. 
virtually adding another main line to important divisions along the Santa Fe system. Santa Fe is also particularly